Let me keep that in mind. I also wonder, do the I wonder if the potions refill when we go to one of those like health regen stations, like the sleeping station things. I guess we'll uh, find out soon. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to see what the sign said. East Forest. Another part of the manual here. The Overworld! Okay. So, ringing the West Bell. West Garden, Dark Tomb. Okay. Under the well, so there's something under the well. Um, type of slime will just want to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Let's protect something, but what? Circle around and use the shield. Well, I would use a shield. If I had one. I'm still not convinced that we like found everything on that of that previous area because we didn't go to where like them bad them bad dudes were. So my health potions are filled up by these things as well. Okay, so that makes things... a little more manageable. Big hit, big hit again. So what we got here? So we're now. Stamina is depleted. No safety, no low stability and hurt more. Okay. And when we're vulnerable, we can't block or use special tech. And then we've got treasures and tools. Roots, shield, bomb, bomb, bomb. So we've got three different types of bombs, which we've already found all of them anyway. Magical items. Holy Cross is one of them. Magic potions, which are refilled at checkpoints. I think it says now that they've got the flower things there. I'm not really sure what that's alluding to. 
I guess we'll unlock more as we go along, but um, yeah, it seems to indicate something to do with health. Interesting, like like almost somebody's written on that in pen as well. That's quite an interesting touch. And showing the difference between each, age 16, 32, what? Start attacking when your stamina is down. Your stamina remains down until you stop attacking. So that's me what the whole vulnerability inside of things is coming in with everything on this. So I yeah, just need to keep my eye on quite a few bits and pieces here while we're busy in combat. I'm spending a lot of time like rolling great things. Yeah, we need a shield to uh, take that on, that's for sure. We just got absolutely obliterated there. I'm looking the windmill, that seems nice and safe, right? shop. Right. Moving swiftly on. We're starting to see of our enemies together over there, which you'd kind of expect as you progress through the game a little bit more. three like fragment so that's when we get the next one to find out exactly what they do here though that the enemies don't respawn 
in like the main sort of map area like they do the other areas we've visited so far. scattered around this area. So we've got to hit this guy on the counter-attack or else he's just going to block us with his shield. Um, which is fair enough. I quite like the, um, now that I've like been thinking about it and played it for a while, I really like the stamina model in this game, the way it um, differentiates your damage. Without it, you could like just go in and like constantly s spam attack all the time. Um, and you like, yeah, keep doing this, this and this, but, and dodging and evading. The way that they've, they've put this together is like really well, well done, I think. quite like the fact that um, you have to kind of almost balance your um, forward attacks with um, your actual rolling attacks as such. So there must be a way to like turn the water on. So with that guy there, you can catch him off guard and attack him from behind so he doesn't actually have a chance to use his shield as such. Which is pretty cool. Figgy. 
So if you throw enough bombs at the turbine, if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize, so don't be afraid to use them. So we're not sure what that does. So this guy's a bit scary, isn't it? A bomb. Okay, so that's a freeze bomb. And now we've got another key to the old house. Okay. It's pretty neat. Uh, do I have any other bombs? Just the freeze bombs. Not sure what that does at the minute, so. So that platform looks a bit suspect, to be honest. Shifting the camera angle as I walk over here. Yeah, something looks a bit suspect with that. I'm not sure what though at the minute. chest near that uh, turret that just tried to shoot us. So a turret on this line here. Careful love. Place looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Okay, so there's a secret path there. Interesting. Ah, okay, so we've got this here, haven't we? That key to the old house? I think it might be. Excellent. Literally a chest with one coin in it. Now we have a shield. Right, we can be a bit more prepared now for them to attack us, I guess. Maybe. Evade the turrets a little bit now as well. What well, secret path behind the waterfall? Quite interesting if I had to find all these like secret paths. Shortcuts to places. Didn't necessarily know it was there otherwise.
A tooth? Alright, not sure what that is, but... Got a tooth. So almost dead. I think we, we get in there with the, the combat. We've got a danger. We've got a pepper of some description. And um, so I'm, I'm holding block, and I guess we can't just run around holding. Effectively, block every shot. I, I, it looks like you can't. Attack and block at the same time. So something to keep note of. Spamming. Spamming is not the way to go. Shield up there, and even the shield didn't. Then. Interesting. I want to test it against one of these turrets. Does work. Does work. To uh, we need to play around with them turrets, I think, to uh, understand like the best way we can get around those. It did say in like the description to.
Uh, sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. It did say in like the description, I think. About um, using your shield and working your way around behind them. Interesting as well that like the enemies can fight as well. So we could also like strategically back all the enemies. Also, shield does nothing against that guy. We are constantly learning. That guy are tough. got a, a card thing. What do they do? No, we have to find out about them on page 20 and we don't have page 20 yet, so... hooks and things. Right, there is something down here at least. Library Annex. Hey, we found all of them cards. Well, 
doesn't look like we can do anything from down here at least. Looks like that was just maybe a way to get that uh, Ah, there it is. See, look, it pays to explore. Always explore. feel like they should be peaceful creatures. from these things. Kind of weird. Also, if the... Uh, almost looks like it's bleeding. Seems. All the way here, though. Let's back over to this side. We do have an entrance here. Yeah. Walk through, though. a way to walk over there either. Kinda of weird. like a bow and arrow or something, something aerial to take on this dude. I've got a pretty nice strat here. Can't really push us backwards. We're able to kind of just take little pot shots at it. There we go. Save space of some description. A shortcut back 
I should say, probably. Even that though has caused all of our enemies to respawn. So let's head this way. A lot of uh, exploration to be done here, I think. This game. Pretty nice. chest over here. There's that. Is that the lure? Possibly. They almost look like artifacts, but I don't think we know how to use them just yet. something down there, so we need to find a key. So let's get to that area. I believe that might be our key. Always explore, guys. Always pays to be vigilant. I was just about to say it. Oh, wow. Wow. I was just about to say that looked like it was... Um, Something that's gonna pop out of me. Hey, we got another bottle. Excellent. My heart meter is shrunk. That's not good. Shortcut there. We're not been across to here, possibly. We haven't been here. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. here but this is how I do. Yo Death Wish no it's not a PlayStation game dude this is uh this is on Steam. 
Um, LB actually donated it a couple of months ago. And uh, we're only just getting around to uh, giving it a first look. It's pretty much... I feel it's like very Zelda inspired. Very Legend of zelda -y. Doing though, dude. How do we get across that like bleeding? Because we've been to that area there before, haven't we? Just playing another game. How dare you? You might be good, thanks, dude. Somehow, we should be dead. For some reason, we are not. Yo, yeah, well, Mika, what's going on, dude? How you doing? Mika high from me, that bush. Open the damn chest, man. Stamina, this is not good. Hopefully, a lot of those shortcuts that I just opened are still going to be open. Just got to remember how to get to them. Thing I'm sure of though, it's not that way because that's just a big circle.
the only enemy in the game that runs away from me. Oh, I reckon I know what those hooks might be. I betcha we'll get a grappling hook weapon at some point. And we'll be able to just like easily get ourselves across those gaps. I'm calling it now. Relicta? Not heard of that, Mika. Why? What the actual? I guess I don't properly understand how that um, how that enemy works. What sort of puzzles? <laughs> you really have to like Time it and get in between the claws and them crabs. Wait, did I just go all that way around and I didn't have to? seems like a good place to uh leave this for tonight um but yeah first impressions really impressed with this game um it's really cool like i, I like how the the battle mechanics are like i said you can't just go in and spam your attack you have to look at your stamina and you have to like think about how you want to attack based on your um stamina so yeah i, I really um really intrigued by this game and uh, we'll be coming back to it um yeah real soon but uh thanks again to lb for donating the game and um yeah thanks for tuning in, guys appreciate the support until next time i've been knock you've been awesome take care stay safe and until next time <laughs>